hello habibi here in this video i will make a tutorial about how to create a gun and how to fire a bullet in your in a game in our unity game so here here i have a first person controller you can see uh, here is my controller i can move by using my w a s and d keys on my keyboard and i also can move by using this virtual joystick and here is jump button so the idea is here i will add a gun system and i will add a fire button here to fire a bullet please note that this free per first person controller is available for download you can see the link in the description of this video in this url i will share the link in the description of this current video you can download it there so i have already downloaded this package and used it in this scene and let's get started to make it first we are going to need a bullet so first thing to do is to create a bullet let me create a folder I will call it TN gun and bullet and here I'm going to make the bullet let's create a 3d object or just empty let's create an empty game object and I call it bullet zoom in to the object and let's add a, an object as the child as a child of this object let's say sphere i will make it little little bit smaller and i'm going to create a material for it so it can be seen easily bullet material take note that i will use very basic unity 3d objects so later you can replace the object with any 3d object of your own you can download any 3d object for free for example and place it as a as a child of this bullet object and remove this sphere so this is just example here is my bullet material will change its color let me make it emission enable and color let's set it to yellow yellowish color like this and so you can see here is my pilot then the next step is to create a script for this pilot you can see the blue arrow here this is the di direction this bullet is pointing so I'm going to make it moving that direction before making the script we will need a rigid body component added to this bullet we will add rigid body and we need a uh, just simple box glider and for this bullet object the mesh we don't need glider here let's just remove this one here the glider we need to resize it according to the size of the bullet mesh 
I think it is fine. And then the rigid body is added here. It depends on what do you need. It can use gravity or not. Let's say it is using gravity. And then let's make a prefab drag and drop this object here and so we have a bullet prefab here to work on this bullet object let's go inside this prefab okay now let we are going to create the script for our bullet I will call the script TN, TN bullet and let's just add the script to the object double click the script to edit it and make a public public float variable and this variable will be the speed of our bullet bullet speed and let's say the default speed should be 10 and to make the bullet moving toward the Z direction on this update block we need to type uh, transform transform dot forward times bullet speed uh, here on the start first in this in the start we need to use the rigid body of our bullet so Before that, here we are going to add a variable, a rigid body variable. We call it bullet itself, rigid body, rigid body bullet, and on the start we assign the value of the bullet. Bullet bullet equals to get component rigid body and then here we set the velocity of the bullet bullet dot velocity equals to transform dot forward multiplied by bullet speed which is then float let's go to the unity and check if there is any error and play the game you can see here is the bullet let's play the game the bullet is moving bullet is gone let's try again stop it and play it again there is our bullet moving forward next let's delete this bullet from our scene and uh, next thing is to add uh, 
another empty game object here I will call it uh, gun so this this time we are going to make the gun gun is something an object that bullet will will be instantiated from this point and that it will go it will go forward let's let me just do it so you can see what do i mean here is my gun as usual i'm going to add a dummy object for example a cube let's say this is my gun mesh you will you can replace the mesh with any 3d mesh of gun of your own later let's say let's just say this is the gun mesh and let me move it for example where is my player object this is my player let me zoom in here this is my player and I will place the gun here I need to attach the gun to this player object I will place it here for example you cannot see the gun because it has no material in it maybe I will make some material to make it visible so here I will make a material I call it gun material and just let set just set the color to red this way and use it on this cube we need to attach the gun to the player camera not the body so place it here okay and let me adjust its position once again okay then we are going to make a button we are going to make a button for our player this is the canvas for player inside it we have joystick and jump button so we are going to add another button to fire that bullet let me apply this uh, prefab here I need to click apply all you cannot see it it is here apply all so the gun the gun object is applied to this FPS object FS prefab let me go inside it go inside and here on the canvas I'm going to duplicate the jump button this one to make a fire button I will place it above it and I name it fire button then let me remove this on click listener first and here 
on this FS player object which is this capsule we are going to make a script I will call the script gun TN gun and attach it here then we use that script for this on this button to fire that bullet so let's create the script for the gun TN gun and double click to edit the script here we are going to make a public game object and I will name the variable bullet prefab and here we are going to make a function or method I call it public void fire fire the bullet let's add the script first add it to this fps player object here on the bullet prefab slot we are going to drag this bullet prefab here and let's click the fire button let's enable it I mean let's add the let's add the on click here click this plus button drag the FS player object here find the function the end gun fire the bullet the next step is to code here inside this fire the bullet so here we are going to instantiate the bullet prefab object to instantiate the bullet we need to call instant instantiate and here we call the bullet prefab and this is the position new factor 3 let's say we are going to instantiate it on the 0 x y and z and quarter neon By default, let's instantiate the bullet on the center of the scene. Click play button. You can see a crazy thing happening here. Stop it and let's check fire button let's let's check again the script and gun so i should not write it write it here in it must it must be here inside this fire the bullet okay let's play it again hit the fire button the bullet the bullet is launch you can see it bullet is being fired from the center of the scene the next thing that we are going to do is to instantiate the bullet exactly from this gun object so I think 
we need to remove the tn gun script from this object from the player object remove it first and instead we need to place the script here on the gun on the gun object which is this one so place the script attach the script to this gun and then don't forget to uh, to drag the bullet here and let's edit the script first let's try instead of using this new factor 3 0 and 0 0 x y and z use the position of the gun so here I will type transform dot position try to play it again the game and let's move somewhere here and try to fire the gun where is it I cannot see the bullet let's click it again the fire button okay because we removed the script from FPS player previously we need to uh, set the button again here while the fire button is being selected drag and drop the gun object to the to this slot and find the TN gun fire the bullet method and let's try it again let's go here and fire the bullet bullet is being fired but the direction is not correct okay that is a crazy thing so we need to switch back to first thing so let it be this way and we need to do some scripting here on the start here on the start we are going to set the position of the bullet exactly at the same position of the TN of the gun object here on the start we are going to set it position so we need to type transform dot position equals to game object dot find so here we are going to find where the gun object is let's can name it gun object we use this name to find it here game object dot find gun object dot transform dot position let's try this line of code here play the game okay. 
fire the bullet okay the bullet is being fired but there is a lot of things there is a lot of things that we need to adjust the direction the way it's behave the way it's behaving it's not correct so here let's go check the bullet object and let's say it should not use the gravity and let's set it to trigger the bullet should be a trigger so it should not collide with anything and fire it okay it works as I expected and the next thing is to fix the direction it is pointing it should not go that way it has to be that way the way the gun is pointing to fix it I think we need to set its rotation here let's replace this one cut this part and here we do game object player gun players gun equals to game object dot find gun object and then we set the transform of the the position of the bullet to players gun so transform dot position and then we do the another thing which is the uh, rotation and let's test it again okay seems rotation doesn't work you can see this uh, error message rotation is not found so here I think we need we need to use local Euler angles goes to oh maybe I think it is because I mistyped mistyped it I'm sorry for it let's tr try it again Okay, let's play it. <coughs> All right, let's go here and fire it. Okay, that's working. It is working as I expected, but I don't like the speed of the bullet. I need it to be faster. How to make it faster? We can go here on the bullet object here on the bullet prefab. Scroll down and you will find it here, the bullet speed. We already did this uh, public variable earlier. 
we can increase it to for example 50 and play it again yes that one is nice I think maybe you can set it more faster it depends on what do you need the next thing is here you can see on the on this part you are seeing a lot of bullet being instantiated so it will become a junk for your game and it will make the game very heavy so you need to do something somehow to remove each bullet when at a certain time so let me just do this solution here on the TN bullet script we need to run a timer let's say here we are going to make a public float destroy after seconds we need to place we need to set uh, what is the duration the bullet should be for example let's say 5 seconds so I will need to remove the bullet after it is being fired after 5 seconds to do it we need to here on the update in, inside this update we are going to check if destroy after seconds is more than zero if it is more than zero just make the bullet moving forward and else here after the after this line we need to reduce the value of this destroy after second destroy after seconds minus equals to time dot delta time then here if the destroy after second is less or equals to zero so it will be else then destroy I hope I did not make a mistake let's test it here okay destroy the game object play the game and fire the bullet then count it is it going to be destroyed after 5 seconds or not yes it is destroyed so now no matter how much bullets do you fire it will be destroyed after 5 seconds so you don't have to be worrying about the bullet is being uh, piled up I think that's all for this video it is a basic it is the basic concept of making gun and bullet and the next things are still very much things you need to do for example you need to add 
the gun gun mesh bullet mesh you need to add sound effects of the bullet being fired you need to add a uh, muzzle effect and so on so I think that's all for this video if you have any question please let me know maybe I can help okay thank you and bye bye see you next time